Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. Uh, kicking today off with a lunchtime run. I'm going to go inside because that big dirty cloud up there scares me. I don't want to get my hair wet, do I? Um, so I'm going to probably do 40, 45 minutes on the treadmill. It's nice and easy, steady jogging. It's really difficult because I'm trying to plan to run, or well, run to uh, compete in the 12 hour time trial champs this weekend, but also trying to get better at running. It's on the brain, that's why I keep saying run. So we've got to you know, try and toe the line. So I'm not going to do too much hard running, but I'm still going to try and slowly increase my volume volume because six weeks yesterday is out of half iron man in which i need to run a half marathon so got to keep ramping it up so i'm going to try and run four or five times this week but um yeah let's kick it off sweat bands are going on obviously treadmill run done and dusted 40 minutes uh 5.18 miles so 744 minute miling so a little bit quicker than yesterday i like the treadmill for this because you set it to a pace and you don't run too fast because you physically can't can you you can't go through the front of it so it's good just to keep it controlled and not go too hard i also have the fan on so not quite as sweaty as yesterday sorry about that uh oh my garmin just said recovery time five hours that's pretty handy because it's five hours until tonight's bike session so yeah i'll see you there Good evening, bike time. Now, before I get on to tonight's session, I've got two things to say. I won't keep you long, promise. Uh, no longer than normal, anyway. First of all, when I see comments on my channel like, you've motivated me too, and it's like, go for a run or enter an event, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. That is awesome. That really makes me think, you know what? This is really worthwhile doing the YouTube thing. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad I tempt you into doing things that are either silly or, or stupidly long events or hard events or whatever great to see um secondly i just want to give a plug to uh, something i was a part of a few weeks ago it was a like a webinar sort of like a group call essentially put on by a lady called michelle lee now if you don't know michelle lee and i didn't know before this call either um she is an awesome uh, cyclist time trialer and she's probably better known for her running so uh, a few years ago well she actually qualified for the olympic marathon in 2004 so she's not bad at all um but she's done a 12 hour tt and she's had a few people ask her questions and tips for the 12 hour tt for this year so she pulled together a couple of other people who are experienced in time Time trialing and long distance cycling and basically arranged a group call there was about 20 of us on this call we got the opportunity to ask questions tips and they shared a lot of their experiences with us um, i'll leave a link to the soundcloud link down below so feel free to listen to it um, you know it's an hour and a half long so i appreciate it. if you're not interested in long distance time trial there's probably not much to take from it but it's a good listen if you're on a turbo or something it could be good to hear because they talk about their experiences so aside from michelle there was also a lady called alice lethbridge on the call as well and she's an awesome time trialist as well she actually holds the national record for the 12 hour time trial which is 291 miles or something which she took off of Beryl Burton so not a bad time trial at all and she's regularly ridden uh, I think she's run a stupidly fast 10 miles. I think it was either 19 or 18, something. I don't know. Quicker than me, basically. And there's also a guy on there called Mike Broadwith. And Mike actually holds the Land's End John O'Groats record, which he did in about 42 hours, I believe, which is 870 something miles. So, uh, yeah, do the maths on that. That is ridiculous. Uh, and again, he's done a lot of long distance cycling, as you can imagine. So, if you've got the time, please do listen to it down below. It was, a, it was great to be a part of it on to tonight's session um so i'm sort of leading into you know an event weekend i'm not really going too hard but i still want to get some sort of training benefit so sweet spot is great for training benefit versus fatigue so you get quite a lot of fitness with not a lot of fatigue so it's good value so tonight's session is a lot of warm-up and then two times 15 minutes at sweet spot in tt position and then a warm down so only half an hour at sweet spot not a massive session but still a decent workout should still get some fitness gains without taking on the fatigue that's the theory let's give it a go Session done. Apologies, this could be too much information, but I sat up for the efforts. Wait for the excuse. From the time trial on Saturday, I got a little bit sore under... Mm, and when I was leaning forward, just got a little bit tender. I really, really don't need to go into this weekend with any sort of sore because that's probably going to happen during the event. I don't need to go into it with one. So I just sat up, was able to position myself so that I wasn't sat on the little tiny side of sore and it was okay. So the power felt okay. Good little workout. Glad to get it done. Um, I was recently asked about, I'll put the question on screen now, um, about my prep for a time trial, what I'd do before it. Well, it depends what sort of time of day it is. So I've done a few in the last few weeks, as you've probably seen. Uh, the one that was in the morning, I just have breakfast, drive to the event, and then I'm probably up. 15 20 minutes before the event i might have a gel or a couple of cliff blocks the one in the afternoon um i have tested taking caffeine before an event and i'm not really finding it's really of any use it's hard to gauge isn't it because you can't do back-to-back -back tests with and without caffeine but i'm finding it's more hassle than it's worth and i'm perhaps stressing about it a bit too much so when i get a bit more confident just turning up to an event and doing it i might test a few more things like that but for the time being i'll just try and take on some sort of carbs about 20 minutes half an hour before the race either a cliff block or a gel or something i don't know as if i always need it particularly not for a 10 mile but it just psychologically makes me th makes me think you fuel for this you can do it so when you're 10 or 15 minutes in it's getting hard you're thinking well it's just getting hard i'm not blowing up because i know i've taken on the nutrition so i hope that helps 
If you've got any other questions, feel free to drop them down below. I was going to say something else, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. So you've had a lucky escape today. Well done, guys and girls. Um, so that is it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I'm really excited and nervous and scared for this weekend. So hoping you're enjoying following the lead up to this. I'm going to drop my bike spec and nutrition plan probably Friday. Um, and then whatever else the week's going to throw at us. I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. Subscribe button down below. See you there.